All right, it's September 14th. We're here in Winston-Salem, North Carolina, in front of the Old Salem Museum. We're not going to check it out today, but I did want to park my RV down here and take this little strollway that got into the downtown area of Winston-Salem. So that's what this video is going to be about, and we're going to follow this 1.4 mile strollway into town and see what they got to offer. So let's get started. There's a look back at the museum if you ever want to come by. This is what the building looks like. And this is where you'll start your adventure in Old Salem. Like I said, I'm going to do that in another day. But for the day, we're going to turn right here on the strollway. Across under this beautiful little, I don't know what you call it, walk through, walkway gate they got. And head on into town. As we walk, you can see off in the distance buildings of Winston-Salem off to my right there got a little creek down here on the left so Winston-Salem was actually two towns at one time the town of Salem which I'm assuming we were just in and the town of Winston which I'm assuming we're headed to and they merged to become the single town of Winston-Salem North Carolina So we just passed Academy Street. You can see how beautiful this strollway is. What a great asset to this town. You can see the leaves falling up ahead. Fall is right around the corner. Beautiful out here today. We're almost in the city now. That's a look back from the direction we came. The strollway turned down there. Came up beside this muse of Winston-Salem. It's going to be a new building for a story telling museum I believe is what it said on the side got some old buildings here and businesses as you come in beautiful old building right there it brings you up to Liberty and Cemetery Street if you turn left there Cemetery Street of course take on out to an old cemetery we're gonna go left on Liberty uh, that's one of the streets we're gonna walk as we do our downtown tour just look at that building and look down at the road below. I can imagine that the uh, Moravians, the first people who came out down here to build this town, I believe that's correct. I can just imagine what they would feel like right now if they were transferred into the future and saw this. They'd be freaked out and say, what in the world have they done to my town? Well, it is a beautiful town. I don't think they could ever imagine cars, bridges like this, skyscrapers. You know, this would have been just a small town with farms. And as we round the corner of the strollway, you can look across. It looks like it's going to dump us out at a park right here in front of the BB&T building. We'll check that out. We're standing in front of that waterfall and Corpening Plaza, I believe, is what this is called. I didn't see a sign anywhere saying that. I had to look online to find it. I should put a little sign here saying what it is. Looks like they might have concerts and stuff here. I'm not sure. They do have a sign up here on the corner when you get up here on the corner. I believe it's Liberty and First Street now. Let's cross on over here real quick. Look. Yeah, this is Liberty Street. This is First Street. We're going to walk on up to the square. We're in front of City Hall now, 101 North Main Street and 1st Street here. Look out that way, that's the bridge, one of the bridges we could have crossed as we went across the uh, strollway over there. You can see there's a historic sign that says Cyrus Briggs invented in 1898, one of the first automatic successful cigarette machines. And yeah, Winston-Salem. It's definitely known for tobacco and cigarettes. Uh, it started out as a tobacco farms, a lot of tobacco businesses around here. And uh, eventually uh, they all got bought out by R.J. Reynolds and Haynes. And then R.J. Reynolds finally bought out Haynes and they started the textile business. And uh, many of you know them today and may even, may even be wearing some of their underwear. It's all started right here in Winston-Salem. Like a lot of cities, 
have these little scooters you can rent. And we're here on the 2nd Street now and Main Street, uh, federal building over there and the Hall of Justice Forsyth County Courthouse on the left. Let's, let's run all across here real quick. Yep, Winston-Salem is the county seat. We're at 200 Main Street now, looking at the Wachovia Bank and Trust Company building. It's an older building here. We're looking out toward Liberty Street in that direction. And Main Street continues that way, and then back out Church Street down that way. So we'll cross over, and uh, we'll pick it up there. I'm not sure what this building is over here. There's a sign off to my right. I think I'll go over there and see what it says. So I believe this is the old Forsyth County Courthouse. Looks like they're leasing it out now. Correct me if I'm wrong if you live here. And this sign that I was going to look at to see what it is is actually a, I think a little monument for, let's see, can't remember now, for Good Samaritans, this county I guess. Good Samaritan right there. Here's the R.J. Reynolds Tobacco Company building. Yeah, he's a big dog. Back in the day when you worked in there. Might still be a big dog, dog today, I don't know. Up LA parking. That's fancy. Find it here, downtown Winston-Salem. All right, we'll pick it up on down the road. There's a look back up Main Street. There's the R.J. Reynolds building, the old one. And another Reynolds building here, I guess. Reynolds America of some sort, I'm not sure. If you come on down here to Fifth Street, you'll see some old factories or mills or whatever. Got the old smoke stacks out the top, some water towers off that way. Another one down there. I kind of feel like this is getting out of the town center here. So I'm going to turn here. We're going to go down to Church Street and then we'll walk back around and maybe hit Liberty Street as we go back across. We're at Fifth and Church now. There's that tower again. There's a look back from the direction we came down Fifth Street. You can see the buildings get older as you go out that way and get into a more of a industrial feel out that direction. Let's give you a look around. The railroad tracks are over there. All right, we're going to walk back up. See if there's anything to film up through here. And I'll get with you up the street. We're on 2nd Street and Church Street now, looking back toward Main Street. Yeah, I just came all the way up through Church Street here. I saw the courthouse and uh, law enforcement safety centers and things like that I walked up here because I thought Bailey Park was up here but it's actually back in the direction I just came I believe you got to take a right when you get down there so I'm gonna turn left here and see if I can go down another street and we'll check that street out we're down here at the government center now on chestnut and second we're gonna head back down Toward 5th, see if we can find Bailey Park. So we're going to turn here at 3rd and Chestnut. It looks like that's maybe Bailey Park off by them towers over there. I see some little restaurants down there. Across the tracks, and it did say Bailey Park was a place people like to come and eat lunch. I don't know what time it is now, about 10.30 maybe. It's a cool old building right in front. Looks like it's got a castle top on it. I don't know if you can see it. Let me stop here and zoom in on that. See that? Got a lot, a lot of nice architecture in this town. So I believe this place called Cranky's is gearing up for lunch. I see some people down there eating a little brunch right now. This appears to be their parking lot. So let's go on over. See what else we can find here. Just to give you a little reference, that's the 
RJ Reynolds building that we looked at from the front up 4th Street there to Main and Cranky's is right off to my left it's around that corner There's some old buildings here it uh, looks like there's an art gallery in here but it doesn't have a name I see some art in the top but I don't know it may be closed but I this picture of this girl caught my eye that's gloomy looking they did a good job with it I like the way they did that this cool old building here it's called fair witness right here they got lights and stuff but it doesn't appear to be open looks like this building was uh, built in 1921 Yeah, that whole row of buildings got some businesses there. Looks like a good place for people to hang out. It's not too far from the square here. A little dipper up there. Maybe it's too early for some activity though. Maybe people will come out later on. Here's Bailey Park. Piedmont Leaf Lofts off to the right. Probably got some cool lofts up in there, but they're expensive too. Right here at this park. Got their rules there. This is private property under surveillance. Ooh, scary. <laughs> That's some art here on this corner. A lot of the stressed out art down here, just like that girl was. Come on. Man, looks like he's in stress there. That's good. I like it. There's Winston Tower again. They got bikes for rent down here too. Okay, right, I guess you bring your chair and sit out here and uh, listen to music. I'm gonna go out here in this grass. Maybe they won't get on me. You can see where people's been sitting out there probably. Maybe they have music up that way. This is called Bailey Park. It says Power Bailey Plant. I guess RJ on that too. I imagine when them things were working, that smoke coming out of them stacks, it wasn't quite as pretty down here. This is a, this is a working area for sure. Looks like you can go up here too, so let's climb on up. Yeah, more seating. I guess all the eating places were back over there. Maybe you got to bring your lunch here. The Wake Forest building over there, I guess. Medicine and all that. We'll climb one more stairs and then nothing to see here. We'll cut it off and head back over to Liberty. I see a few people eating there. A nice little park. Apartments is all down in here. If you want to come and live, nice little clean city to live in for sure. They got Alma Mexicana right here across from Bailey Park. Looks like it opens at 11, so it's almost 11. Across the way, they have a butcher's block. I guess that's a butcher shop over there. You got uh, espresso and a bike shop right below these condos here. Looks like this is apartments. Maybe they're called the Link, maybe. I'm not sure. It says IQ Link over there, right there on that sign. And there's a different look at the R.J. Reynolds building from this direction. If you rented one of those apartments. This is the back of the Bailey Power plant building. Yeah, more seating down there. I guess it'll fill up for lunch before long. I haven't seen a lot of people downtown. It's been kind of quiet. Oh, it's, that's cool. So I guess this is all part of Bailey Park. You can see they got another sign right there. Do a quick look. I guess it was just a 
track right there at one time and they used that track as a decorative feature that's cool all that lights up at night yeah cool looking place just for a little reference Beta Park's back that way I just crossed over Church Street Main Street and now we're here on Liberty Street Millennium Center that's a beautiful building not sure what it's used for if any of you people live here comment below let us know what that is you see some more old buildings out that way I'm trying to decide whether I want to go down there or not you know what I think I will and then we'll cut back so I just noticed this sign on a pole and it's the first one I've seen maybe there was signs on other poles but I didn't see them but I was getting ready to say and my next little clip is how I wish they had more signs like this so we're right here at uh, Liberty Street. I don't know if that's going to focus in for you or not, but we're going to take a right and go out to the Art District right there to the right, up that way. I'm not going to go back left. I don't think there's much down there. Uh, that takes you back to Corpening Park down there where we started. And then of course, you can see this is our transit center here. So we'll take a right. We'll go down the Art District there. Cut, cut over to Cherry Street maybe and see if there's anything down there. I see a beautiful old building off at the distance there. You can see the tower sticking up. I'm, I'm thinking that might be the library, so we may go check that out and call it there. We're standing in front of Dogwood Hops and Chops here, 517. Doesn't look like it's open right now. But, uh, there's a transit sitter back there. Got clean days over there. Arts on Liberty Building. Got a little bakery in there, but I don't see anybody in there. Well, they got a coffee shop right there on the other side. Looks neat. Barber shop. Soccer. Good and called Reboot. It's got, it looks like maybe games in there. Not sure. No. 1924 building. Fixed it up real nice. And crafted taco. I swear. Doesn't look like anybody's open. That's about lunchtime. I don't know why they call it the Arch District. We're going down further. That's the UPS store here on the left. Let's see what they got. We're on 6th in Liberty now, and it says Avenue of Arts. But I do see a mural passed up. I didn't notice that until I got past it on the side of Reboot down there. I don't think nothing else is in there. I didn't see anything. Got a building right here on the rights for lease. They're fixing it up. These are cool old buildings. Mm-hmm. I don't know what this place is either. There's some art over here on the left, so let's go check that out. Here's a look back from the direction we came. Just wanted, to, wanted you to see the tattoo shop there. And got Bark Avenue. Looks like a nice little pet store in there. It's open, so make sure you visit them if you got pets. It's another little cool looking building right there, but I don't see a sign on it, so I don't know what it is. I'm going to turn and walk into the arts place here. Activity on the green. There's the rules again. Almost looks like you can skateboard across here, but I can see they put those little clamps on there to make sure that doesn't happen. 
Yeah, probably not a good idea to make your art look like a skateboard ramp or whatever you call those things where they do their jumps, tricks, whatever. So here's Mark. Looks like a place you just come sit down, maybe. It's got lights, so maybe it lights up at night. Uh, I'm not too impressed with it. I do like the mural down here. I did a real good job on her. Check the detail out. Yes, yeah, beautiful, beautiful picture of that girl. Looks like maybe a brain right there, purple brain. This looks like almost like a thing promoting drugs. Got the little teddy bears, and it looks like a pill in the middle. I don't know what that's all about. Some crazy cartoon looking fella. Looks like it could be in Mad Magazine back in the day. Like a robotic DJ there, I like that. Skull. Huh. Maybe that's sailboats in the water. Yeah. Got these red towers. Got little holes in them, so maybe they light up. From the looks of the sidewalk, this has been here a while. I don't know if they change this art up every once in a while. Make a difference every day in that one. I got a lending library here, but it looks like everything has been lended out. Yeah, there's a couple books in there. So if you're out this way and got some books, maybe help fill that back up. Looks like there might be a little restaurant back there. We'll see when we cross over in a minute. Some kind of murals faded over there. There is a gallery over there, Red Dog Gallery. I'll walk up to the front and see if there's anything to see, and then we'll come back through this little gap here, I guess, over to that street. I spotted this mural when I was coming back out to look at that gallery. I wanted to check it out. It says, Too long have others spoken for us. Too long has the public been deceived by misrepresentation. Beautiful mural there. Got Freedom's Journal, North Star. There's all kinds of things in there. Come check that mural out. That artist did a great job on that. Back over there, you can see Wake Forest, that's Bailey Park, back in that direction. So as you get, come down to this end, this is where most of the art is. We're Liberty, yes. Here's a look back toward the town center, standing in front of the Red Dog Gallery, here on Liberty Street. Looks like they're going to turn that into a Piedmont Bank right there. Got Camel City barbecue factory. I imagine it's named Camel City for the Camel cigarettes that were made here at one time. You turn, they got the famous toastery over there. I don't know if you can see it or not. But you can sit out on top. So that's a cool place to come. It's a bar and all. Imagine at night that's packed. Down here on my right, some more murals. So let's cross over and give them a look. So this looks like a, I want to say a chicken, but I don't think it is a chicken. Some kind of bird. It's got some, I think there's some words in there somewhere, maybe. I can't tell. Maybe y'all can. That's good though. Got an art theater here, auditions. Come and do, do that. Got a couple more murals on the side there. Probably, probably been there a while. Garage. They have an auditions. Well, they had auditions for the Evil Dead musical. I really like this mural over here. It's like a spaceman, but he's wearing more of a like deep sea diving suit there, head helmet. Kind of like steampunk looking, I guess. So we're down on trade now. 
it looks like they've been fixing this whole area up down here so imagine if you're in the art you can walk all the way up down through here maybe even find you a place to live in this area there's some more murals probably a fun place to come at night I see a saloon over there a coffee shop here and we'll just keep it on keep walking this time I think it's kind of going to be your Bailey Park over there and then over here in this art district is going to be where you come for your little shops and things like that where the actual town center is more business here in Winston-Salem tastings room here yeah art connections it seemed to be in the hands here in this display and your hands say a lot about who you are I guess that's interesting I like this little saloon over here <laughs> a little small but I bet that boy gets packed got some little outdoor seating they've had plenty of parking there's that art piece where we were earlier plenty of parking here in town on street and off got tobacco Soho building let me cross over and get away from the music not show it from this side got a variety shop here got a full leash right there could be another little bar it's purple buildings for lease dogs welcome here open oh. food and drinks place here on the right Finnegan's and look back where the music was playing sweet potatoes yes yeah, so all your little restaurants and shops looks like they're right through here little shop right here wellness collective waiting for your business come on downtown and support these people love independent businesses that's what I'm all about big town or small I don't want to come to a town and see the same old same old I don't think you do either major times oddities and curiosities now this looks like it's gonna be a cool place to come back to <laughs> I like to put the lips on those animals <clears throat> Alien heads. Open Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So they're closed today. Y'all come back and check out the little baby. Major Tom's. This is one place I definitely would want. I definitely want to come back. I don't live too far from here, so I can come back and check that out. Never even heard of the place. So that's what you find if you'll come in and just walk around. Don't just look online because a lot of times you can't find stuff online. It's just easier to come down, pay a visit. To the place it says we make reality virtual we make glass or something I ain't sure there eyes on trade now I've said this before I think it was in I can't remember there's another town but their signs for their eye shop was similar with glasses on it I mean when you walk down the street you can tell what that is and that's what all shops should be you should know what it is before you even get up to the display Got all the kids ready for school with pencils for the arms. Great little shop. Probably a great do uh, doctor in there. North Trade Street Arts here. They're closed today. So it's Tuesday. A lot of places closed on Tuesday. Which I, I like to come to these places when there's not a lot of people walking away. It's just easier to film. Handmade textiles right here. Closed right now. Yeah, they say they opened 11, but they ain't open yet. There's Piedmont Craftsman on the other side. Six and Vine Wine down there. All cool shops all over the place. Got another mural right here. Let me see if I can cross without getting run over and look at it. You got the little 
animals in the side there turtle we're at sixth street and trade now artworks gallery Music studio here it looks like. Got some guitars in the windows and a floor. Is it both? Sculpture studio right there on the right. I see guitars in here. B string. I guess you go in the one door there. Not sure. More scooters here. <laughs> That's weird looking. Yeah, it's just a fun street at night. Everybody's out and about. Got kindred spirits over there. African crafts in that building. A little try our famous. I can't read that. Looks like maybe a little bakery over there. Working on this building. Italian cuisine at the building beside it. I got a locksmith right beside that. It says Trader's Row. So, yeah, wealth management, that type of thing. Got a I guess that was in Good Aaron Park, I guess. More parking. Wear a mask in this store, they ask. Masked General Store. Oh, that place is huge. Yeah, there's another good place to come, for sure. So I may come back with Pam, and we may check out that Oddities place, and then check out this big mass General Store. A lot of clothing and stuff in there, as I see through the windows. All right, pick it up and get up. A little bit further. One more look down toward the art district there on Trade Street here. That looks like the place to come if you want to shop and things like that and little independent shops and all. We're back here at the Transit Center. So I found this tailor shop on my way over to Cherry Street. Don't see many of those in town anymore, so that's good. Got a boutique hat shop here as well. I like that. Got Timmy's hot chicken. Eleven to nine. I swear I think it's lunchtime by now. I don't see anybody out here. I have to look at my watch here for long. This is Timmy's too. There may be people in there. I can't see. It says open though. So yeah, come on out and get you some. Timmy's food is ready for you so yeah this is the convention center right here and I uh, just saw it flash at 11:30, so it's not quite lunch time yet you can see somebody's made some seating out on top of that building for themselves got a nice view up there Ew, every every video I just about break my leg one of these days you're gonna get to see it Right across from the embassy suites too. Maybe they come out and help me out. Maybe there's somebody there would help me out if I'd have fell. Probably not. It was called 911. Sent a fire firefighters out. Alright, well Marshall's headed toward that building that I think's a library, but I'm not sure. Well I called that one wrong. I don't know why I thought there was a public library down this way. And they may be, but I didn't find it on the map, I just kind of did a quick glance, but man, First Baptist Church, what a beautiful building. Stands out from all around town. I've been seeing this steeple. I didn't notice the cross on top of it. I guess that was too far away, but they have a beautiful, beautiful church here, and I know they're very proud of it. We're on 4th and Spruce Street here, looking at the Young Cardinal Cafe Company over there. 
I turn left and walk back toward Main Street. Got a big building here for lease on the left. On the right, have a billiards place. Bill's it's like Bull's Tavern. And the Stevens Center right here, School of the Arts. Got a nice building there. UNC School of the Arts right here. At Marshall and Fourth. So here's another one of these maps. That's the second one I've seen. So they're more on the, this side of the town versus the other side over there where the courthouse now was. Doing a lot of work up that way. <laughs> Truck about to hit that car. <laughs> Full action here, downtown Winston Salem. Yeah. Oh, he's mad. He's mad. There's another bakery over there. People eating lunch. That's Washington Park here. So it's another little section here. A lot of activity. Uh, just about missed. So we're on Cherry Street. It's going over before the traffic comes. We got all the trees down Cherry Street here. Got Jimmy John's there. Brothers Pizza. Mayberry ice cream sandwiches. Mystic Center exotic Indian cuisine. My food smelling good through here. Seafood and cold beer here at the Raw Bar. And the CVS is tucked in right here. Another mural on the wall. I see more and more people coming out now for lunch. Alright, we'll continue on up this way. So there's one more look down 4th Street where they had a lot of restaurants and businesses. Has some space for lease too, so if you're interested in starting a business here, I saw buildings all over town that you could lease out. Whole city's clean, a lot going on down here. All right, we're back where we started at this beautiful park and this waterfall. To my left there, we're here on First Street, which marks the former boundary between Winston and Salem. And they give you a little information on their little historic sign right there. What a great town. What a great walk up from Old Salem to here, to this business district with its buildings and Bailey's Park, the Arts District out on Cherry Street area over there, and uh, 4th Street with this restaurant. So I'm sure I'm missing a lot of areas, but I uh, hope I gave you a good overview of what you'll find if you come and walk around this city. So I'm going to call it here. I hope you enjoyed the walk and talk tour. If you did, I appreciate it. If you'd like, subscribe and share. Y'all take care.